First of all, I want to apologize for taking so long and thank you for your patience. Um, all you guys that cover me know I'm a crybaby, so um, I'm just blessed, man. Coach great kids, work with great coaches, and um, first I, I want to uh, tip my hat to Coach Munkin and their staff. They had a great game plan. They slowed the ball down on offense. They, you know, snapped the ball with less than five seconds, even shortened possessions even more. Had a great game plan on defense. And so, you know, uh, Jeff's a great coach, a great man. They had a great plan. But I'm very proud of the way our guys bounced back, you know, to have a block. You don't win too many games when you get a block punt for a touchdown, and it shows you just how resilient our kids are. Um, started off a little tight. We had some missed assignments. But once we settled down, it's proud of our effort. Um, but couldn't be more proud of a group of seniors. You know, and this, this game, there's always a lot of emotion because there's a, a finality to the game. But uh, very proud of our seniors. and. Um, and I always say this, but again, our, our country's in good hands with both sides. They got great kids on that side, West Point, great kids. And, um, but great, two great institutions. And it's kind of cool when you got things going on about the Final Four and who's in it and players trying to unionize and get more play, you know, players need more pay, whatever the case may be. You got two schools to just want to beat each other up, shake each other's hand after the game. Then in a year or so, they serve with each other to protect our freedoms. It's a cool deal, man. And I've been fortunate to be involved in this for 17 years. But Ken, when, when getting carried off by President Barry, we'll have the Yankees and Bernie against the brigade for the six second. What's going through your mind knowing that you're now the winningest coach in history of Navy football? First of all, I didn't want to hurt them. You know what I mean? It's not, it's like, not like I'm a light coach or anything. You know what I mean? Probably the heaviest coach in uh, Division One, but. Um, I didn't want to, you know, the, the, my players did that. I, I didn't want to do that. I will try to get down, you know what I mean? I, I have so much respect for Army that, um, you know, I, and Jeff and those guys, I didn't want to upstage anybody, you know what I mean? Just do our normal deal, you know, pay respects to them, pay respects to us, but both of those guys are stronger than I am, so I couldn't do anything. And just to think about how far you've come, you know, you were assistant here. I just feel very fortunate, Gene. I mean, just a lot of great players over the years. A lot of them came back to the game. A lot of great coaches. And I feel very, very blessed that uh, Ivan, Buddy, Dale, you know, our staff's been intact. Uh, Chet's made it, you know, good for us to live in Annapolis. I work with great people. Um, you know, straws and you know, just it's a great place to be, and I just feel very blessed. You know, I just I guess it's a little surreal right now because the way the game ended, I thought, you know, we're getting put, finish the game off, and you know, everything we've got everything intact. That's kind of our game: kill the clock, chew up yards. You know, put the ball in Nike's hand. And we fumbled the ball. I said, not. I mean, I couldn't. I'm just like, um, but uh, to our our kids' credit, we found a way to get the W. <laughs> 13 straight wins against Army. I mean, that's a heck of a confidence. I mean, what your, your thoughts just on being able to do that? Well, it's hard to do, you know, and and our approach has always been don't talk about the streak. Our approach, and I've, you know, you know, you and I have talked a lot, and just our thoughts have always been on a preparation for this game. You know what I mean? And don't, because none of the other games have any um, bearing on this game. It's not like you can carry points over. And we've always approached it that way. Yeah, but. It's a heck of a run, and you have to tip your hat to all of our players that have come before and all the coaches that have been involved with it. You also you called, you called timeout on that fourth down. You stop them, then you go down and, and score again. Then you have all the momentum. You get another score, then you start to take a lead in the second half. Well, that sequence, the importance there. Um, I'm not the smartest coach in the world, and there's a, a lot of coaches that are better coaches than I am, better clock management people than I am. but. I mean, it's, people know who I am. I'm a pretty religious person. Uh, my game of preparation is I, I try to pray a lot and seek for guidance. I mean, I had a prompting to, to call a timeout. And so, uh, it's, you know, it had nothing to do, really it had nothing to do, John, with anything going on in the field or feelings that came from inside. 
and uh, their spiritual thoughts. And it's hard for me to explain, but I just, I know, I know where the, the prompting came from. Ken, you said a minute ago that your approach is, is not to, to talk about the street, but I mean, inside you know about the street. Do you feel, do you feel pressure for, you know, the street for going on so long? In this profession, every game is pressure. I've been trying to lose weight for, you know, the last 20 years, and I'm still 260 pounds. It just, um, since I became the head coach, your your sleep, your, I mean, there's a lot of sleepless nights. Uh, I keep telling my wife, you know, why am I in this profession? I'll just quit and retire, go back to Hawaii, get on the beach and just chill. And just, there's always pressure in this deal. You know, whether you're playing Notre Dame, Ohio State, Western Kentucky, you know, West Point, uh, this is a pressure packed deal. They're all pressure packed. And what was the difference just between the first half and the second half? <laughs> better in the second half. They're slowing down a bit. I think we just settled down a little yeah. bit. You know, we, we, had, we had some missed calls, some missed assignments on offense. You know, we didn't get lined up properly. I just think we were a little, you know, too high strung a little bit. And we just we just need to settle down. And they were crowding the box. You know, I mean, they were all up there. They're similar to what Air Force was doing against us. Just, and we had to throw the ball to loosen them up a little bit. And when we did, it didn't allow us to get our running game. But we just needed to settle down. And that was our deal. Let's just settle down, relax, and let's just play ball. Any other questions for Coach? I think Keenan played in the game. He played well, man. He played really well. He's uh, he's three and zero against against Army. That's that's a pretty good streak. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.